a week ago today, a 14-year-old girl was nearly killed in Prince George's County after shots rang out, and she was an unattended target in what the family says was a drive-by shooting. And tonight, she is still fighting for her life at Children's National, and that is where we find our Jacqueline Matter, who is speaking exclusively with her family. Jacqueline. Well, Jim, Angie, that 14-year-old girl was shot in the head, and doctors say she now has bone fragment launched in her brain, and they say her road to recovery could take months, if not years. Tonight, her family speaking exclusively to Fox 5, and they say it's a miracle she's alive. Last Thursday evening, Myrna Bonilla was on her way to pick up her 14-year-old daughter, Valeria, who went to a friend's apartment after school. She was five minutes away when she got a call from a friend that was on the scene saying that my sister was shot. A call no mother ever wants to get. Say, are you the mom of Valeria? I say, yes. Oh, Valeria have a shot. I don't know what can I do. Valeria, a seventh grader at a local middle school, was shot in the head. When I get there, you know, the police don't let me go close to her. I say, they killed my baby, they killed my baby. Witnesses tell the family a teen wearing a ski mask drove by and started shooting at the crowd that was gathered at the Auburn Manor apartment complex. That's when Valeria was caught in the crossfire. What we understood it was that it's just a problem between apartment complexes now. So I don't know if that means that now there are gangs in each individual apartment complexes. I I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if there was a, it was, if this was gang related or just just plain old violence. After days of uncertainty, Valeria's family says she's now in stable condition. I thought I knew pain, but it's nothing compared when you think you're gonna have to bury your 14 year old sister for two days. Uh, she, we almost lost her twice. But with bone fragments lodged in her brain, a gash above her ear, along with blood clots and bleeding in her brain, her road to recovery is a long one. Because it is a TBI that it is going to take some time to find out if she's going to have any long-term consequences from this injury. She's starting to have nightmares of what happened or just night terrors in general. And while her vision is still blurry and she can't stand on her own, Valeria shared her own message with us from her hospital bed. There was 36 bullets and I was only shot once. And the word needs to come out as a teenager, as a 14-year-old, kids need to enjoy their time with their family members and their cousins because you never know about it lasts because I almost lost my life. A plea from Valeria herself and her family to stop the violence across the DMV. It's necessary to stop the violence. It's no more games. We definitely were lucky that she's still here with us, with whatever the consequences may be in the long run, but uh, she's still here. And we know that for a lot of parents, that's not the case. Now, her family is asking more witnesses to come forward so they can hopefully get justice for Valeria. I do also want to be clear, Prince George's County Police say this is still an active investigation. They tell me they are still working to find suspects and a motive. Back to you.